here. This is my localhost MySQL database. I'm looking at it with PHP My Admin here. Um, I created a user previously from the user registration tutorial named um, with the username of username and the password of password. Very simple. There's an email too. So just with this in mind that I have this one user, I'm going to try to make a login page so that this user can then log into my website. So this we're going to start out with making just um, a connection to the database. So my opening PHP tags and then an include tag to then um, include my connection.php page, which we made in the last tutorial, looks something like this. And that's just to connect to the database. But considering you already know what that is, then that's not a big deal. So I included that connection so that I can now bridge the gap between PHP and the database. Um, now, I'm going to make a basic HTML form. So I'm going to close the PHP tags and then start making my form. Um, post, meaning that all my information sent through the form is going to be put into post variables. Um, I also have another tutorial on post uh, forms, so you can check that out if you're a little confused. So I started with form method equals post, and then I'm going to be making some fields for them to fill out. So username. Um, it's going to be uh, shush. <laughs> it's going to be a um, text input and the name's username. Very straightforward, just so that we know how to refer to it, and we'll refer to it as username. Um, password. Uh, this input is going to be a password input, so that the when they type it won't really be visible. And then that's pretty much all we need for them to log in, right? So let's put in our submit button and we'll call we'll just have it say login um, and then close our form so let's go check that out and make sure that worked refresh and there's our form there you can see very plain but that's what all we really have to worry about at the moment um so now I'm gonna create the behind the scenes portion where I actually process the information they input so actually, uh, I'm not quite finished here. I forgot to put it, a hidden input, and this essentially will tell me if, um, oh, sorry. It will tell me, or the computer, or whatever, the PHP processing script that this form is sent. So we're going to name this hidden input form, and then the value will be sent. So essentially, whenever um, our variable of form is set to sent, then we know that they press the submit button since that will send any information that's within the form. So that way we know whether or not they actually tried to log in. So then we say here, if is set post form, and that post of course is referring to the, the variables um, sent with this post form. So if post form, meaning referring to this hidden input, if that is set, meaning if it's sent to, you know, if it's set to sent, but we won't actually specify what it's set to, just in case it's not set at all. So this just text, tests to make sure if it's set or not. Then we know to start processing whatever information was sent. We want to go and first try to see if their username is actually a user. So we'll say, all right, um, let's let's do a test, and I'm going to do MySQL num rows, which essentially is counting how many rows are how many uh, how much information is actually taken from the database and MySQL query is the query and we're going to do a select query so a select um, ID it really doesn't matter we'll just do, try to do the limit most limited information to select select ID from users because that's the name of the table um, where that is just specifying where uh, or wh what we're looking for uh, username and that's this username here, username, that column, where that is equal to post um, post username. And post username is referring to this input here because it's in the post form. I think you understand. If that's greater than zero, and I say MySQL numbers because if it's if it's zero, meaning if you, they can't find any sort of user in that users table with that username, then that MySQL num rows of this query will be set to zero. But if it's greater than zero, that means that yes, they found a username, a user by that username. All right, I hope that makes sense. Um, 
Then, let's see, we'll move on. If indeed there is a user by that username in the database, then that's great. Else, let's make sure to tell them, hey, um, username could not, or username invalid, right? It's very simple. Um, and let's put a break before the form just so everything looks normal. But if it does pass the test and there is indeed a username, then what do we have to check next? The password, of course, right? So then let's check, um, let's actually fetch that row that we tried to select earlier. And that could be user info. Let's name this variable user info, and that'll just be mysql um, fetch. I like to do object. Let's try that, something new. That this is working with object oriented programming in PHP, which is really. I, I don't really use it that often, but I think it, it's a useful thing to kind of play around with. And so we'll just do a very basic fetch object from this query here. So it'll be select. Now we want to select more. So we'll probably select the password, the username, and the password uh, from users where uh, username is equal to that you know post username. So now we're just getting the information just so that we can check uh, limit one, we'll just make sure we don't select more than one. Not that, that it's just a very precautionary thing. So now we're just grabbing the user info with full knowledge that yes, indeed, this user with this username is for sure ex in existence. So there's our user info. And now if we go here, <coughs> sorry, <laughs> if we go and now we want to check whether the password is working or not. So then we'll make another if statement. So we'll go if post password, which is whatever password they entered into the form could be right could be wrong if it equal or if it doesn't equal doesn't equal and that's case sensitive if it doesn't equal at all user info uh, arrow because this is an object um, password right because that was one of the parameters we selected and user info is the variable that we set to this object that we selected from the database so if it doesn't equal the password that's set in the database then we'll, we're going to send an error message saying um, password, username slash password invalid. Um, and then if it does pass this test, however, and they entered the right password, the right username, everything's wonderful, then we're going to say congratulations, uh, welcome, and then let's say their username. So a way to do that would just to call user info and then username. Um, and then We'll put a period so we're grammatically correct. And then um, say we want to start a session. So we'll go to session. We'll just uh, start session start. And if you're not familiar with sessions, I have another tutorial on PHP sessions that I made a while back. So I'm not sure if it's entirely great. <laughs> but you can look that up, and I will link that. Um, all right. And then why don't we set session user ID to the user ID that we grabbed from the database. Unfortunately, what I realized is I didn't grab that. So you have to make sure that whatever information you want from the database, you have to specify that you want that. Unless you put star, which essentially, if you say select star from users, see, uh, or asterisk, or whatever you want to call that, that means just select everything that can come with that row. So let's do that for now. So, um, so then we know that, that wherever page on your website that has a session, that they go to, um, it will remember their user ID, and then you can just get information repeatedly from that. All right, so let's save that and check if it works. All right, so here's our form. Um, let's enter it incorrectly, a, a completely incorrect username that doesn't even exist. So it doesn't even pass the first test. Username invalid. Okay, great. So now let's see if we enter the right username. Oops. But we enter the incorrect password. Okay, username slash password invalid. Perfect. So now let's try and let's enter both correctly. Okay, good. Congratulations. Welcome, username.